safi habari za sasa hivi mtazamaji wangu ni kwamba 13 ambassadors and high commissioners in Kenya including the US UK Germany and Canada issue a joint statement calling for dialogue between Ruto Raila eh, Ruto and Raila over demonstration 18th July 2023 taarifa sasa hivi uh, zinadai kwamba kuna viongozi kutoka nje ya nchi ambao Uh, kwa pamoja kabisa wame kama kuandika hivi barua na kusema kwamba wanataka uh, kama inawezekana basi wakutanishwe yani uh, kitu kikubwa ambacho kinawasumbua kili ni namna ambavyo Raila anaweza akakutana na William Samoei Ruto ili uh, mazungumzo yawe mambo yaende sawa kwa sababu inaonekana kuna vitu ambavyo hawajafurahia lakini hii Uh, cha kwanza kitu ambacho mimi nimejiuliza hii ni idea ya nani? Hii ni idea ya nani? And jibu ni rahisi sana. Hii hapa ni idea ya William Samoe Ruto. Na kuna uwezekano mkubwa kabisa yeye pamoja na watu wake akina um, akina mutua akina uh, akina nani tena jamani? Akina Mulkomen, akina uh, Rigiji, Rigathi Gashagwa na viongozi wengine. I think walikaa chini wakaona mm. uh, hapa mambo yanaendelea kuwa mazito kweli kweli. Huyu mzee anatupeleka speedi so tutafanyaje ili uh, tumzuie. Sasa mimi kitu kimoja ambacho kiminisumbua sana ni itakuwaje uh, iwapo hawa watu wawili watakutana wazungumze uh, was, watu wasiingie tena kwenye street. Uh, for me it won't be that easy. It won't be that easy kwa sababu tumetoka mbali sana. Tumetoka mbali sana. Kuna watu tayari washapoteza maisha yao kwa ajili ya kupigania uh, kitu ambacho kwa kweli serikali inatakiwa kushughulikia you understand what we are fighting for right now it's the high cost of living we are talking about i uh, talking about um, um, police brutality we are talking about what else tunazungumzia mambo mengi sana uh, ikiwemo pia swala la political parties you know So sasa hivi ukiniambia kwamba eti kuna mtu ataweka Raila akae na William Samoe Ruto wasikilizane bro Ruto ni yule yule kuongea kwake yeye itamsaidia kwa sababu Raila by the mazungumzo haya yatamsaidia Ruto tu sio Raila In fact Ruto anaweza akasikia vizuri sana akiambiwa kwamba tunakukutanisha na Raila Odinga Cha kwanza najua Raila hataingia street Raila asipoingia street kazi inakuwa rais kwake vitu vyake vitakuwa vinaenda Once Raila hajaingia street na maanisha Raila kwa namna fulani itabidi akubaliane na vitu vingine ambavyo atakuwa anafanya William Samoe Ruto. Sio kama unaelewa mtazamaji wangu. Atapewa nafasi ya kuendeleza hivyo vitu vyake. Finance bill itapitishwa. Ataendelea kuibaiba vyama kama alivyofanya Jubilee. Ataendelea kununua dunua viongozi wa rukeruke hivi kama akina Jalango alivyofanya. So ni kitu ambacho kitamsaidia Ruto lakini sio Raila Odinga. Raila Odinga sasa hivi unajua ni watu wangapi wamepoteza maisha yao kwa sababu tunapigania kitu fulani. Niambie Raila sasa akisema now tuache kuingia itakuwaje. People will be like, "Ai bro, why? Kwa nini? Kwa nini tusiingie wakati tume tumepoteza mengi sana tukipigania kitu fulani?" Alafu vitu ambavyo tunavipigania ni vitu ambavyo vinatakiwa kufanyika. You understand? Yaani lower the cost of living. It's, it's that simple. Lower the cost of living. Hakuna eti mambo mengi sio na nini na nini na vitu kama hivyo. Ah. Sasa mimi nashindwa kuelewa hii hapa sasa itakuwaje. Eh? Kitu kimoja ambacho najua ni kwamba uh, ata sisi waga atu, atujihusishi na vitu ambavyo vinafanyika kwenye inchi za watu wengine. I think this time round waache tutupambane, tupambane kama sisi. Wacha tujiletee mabadiliko sisi wenyewe. Atutaki kupatanishwa there is nothing we are not we are not even fighting yani we are just requesting for things ambazo zinatakiwa kufanyika hatujafikia level ya sasa kukutanishwa why kwa nini tunakutanishwa ambacho kinafanyika sasa hivi ni yani vitu vikae vitu vikae mwananchi apate kitu ambacho anaweza aka sio kama unanielewa yani mtu wa kawaida kitu hiko ambacho anaweza akaishi nayo vizuri bei ya unga bei ya nini hivi vitu vya kawaida tu Batataki kufanya hivyo sawa shaenda kutuletea watu eti waje wakasikilizane na sisi. Nao. Uh, ni jaribu tu kukuelezea namna ambavyo imekuwa eh. Ambassadors and High Commissioners on Tuesday July 18th offered to support mediation talks between President William Ruto and former Prime Minister Odinga uh, over the planned nationwide demonstration. So, 
Kwa sababu Raila ameweka uh, ngoma iwe siku tatu I think ame panic. Uh, panic kwa sababu cha kwanza anajua vizuri itakuwa ni aibu kubwa sana. Sasa hivi hata polisi wenyewe hawana matia gas, hawana manini. Uh, so hata kudeal na wananchi itakuwa ni noma. Yaani amefika point ambapo kudeal na wananchi itakuwa ni vigumu sana. So hapa inabidi sasa atafute mbinu na ndio maana ameita hawa watu wakuje hapa eti mazungumzo ya kuwe. Bro, haitawezekana. Haitawezekana. Eh, in fact hao hawa hawa sijui ambassador, sijui high commissioner, sijui akina nani. Wazungumze na wananchi. Eh, it's not all about lakini Raila wana to represent sisi. Inamaanisha sasa wakitaka ku kusolve kila kitu sasa watu wa, 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 wazungumze na sisi kama wananchi. Waachane na Raila. Eh, Raila Kalonzo wale tulikuwa tunawatuma tu fikisheni ujumbe. Wale wanatuongoza tu kwenye sasa tunataka tufanye hivi. Wao wanafikishia serikali ujumbe. So hawa commissioners sijui kina hai sijui nani hawa. Zungumzeni na sisi wananchi kwa sababu ni sisi tunahangaika. Asiye kina Raila, ni sisi ndio tunahangaika. Zungumzeni na sisi. Tuone kama mnaweza mkatukonvince kwa sababu Ruto amezungumza na sisi mda, mda mrefu sana. Hakuna mabadiliko ambayo tunayaona. So it's not all about Raila kupatanishwa na na William Samoe Ruto. Mm, watu wambie sisi sisi wananchi ndio tunahangaika na ndio kabisa tumetuma Raila nenda ukatuwakilishe. I think it's it, that's very clear. Uh, in a joint statement sasa, uh, the diplomats wana wanaita call on the two leaders to embrace dialogue to avert further laws of life. Eti sasa tuzungumze Unaona hii reasoning, hii reasoning ni ile ni ile ya William Samoruto kwamba eti wakisikilizana maisha watu hawatapoteza maisha. You understand? Wakaendelea kusema kwamba they expressed regret over the loss of property and life that were witnessed in the last few weeks during the Azimio la Umoja protests. So, wametupea ile reasoning ya kina William Samoruto kina regret kashago kwamba maandamano inafanya watu na maisha yao inapotea, maandamano inafanya biashara za watu zinaharibika na vitu kama hivyo you understand but sasa mimi nina kitu kimoja tu Ruto na yeye anatakiwa ku, ku, ku stop hivi vitu biashara kuharibika hiyo ni kazi ya polisi kuleta security na kuhakikisha kwamba biashara za watu zinaendelea ni kazi yao pia kuambia polisi msipige risasi hakuna mtu ambaye atakufa haya uh, hawa commissioners wanasema hivi we are saddened by the loss of life and concerned by high levels of violence including the use of live rounds and the destruction of property during the recent demonstration read the statement aya acha nikusomee hapa we recognize the daily hardship faced by many kenyans and urge all parties to table their concerns through meaningful dialogue and resolve their differences peacefully to build the nation together ensuring no further loss of life some of the 13 embassies that signed off the letter were germany canada usa norway ukraine and united kingdom among others Meanwhile, Azimio in a press briefing held on Tuesday mi- uh, midday maintained that the process will go on. Protests will go on despite the pressure from the government and religious leaders. Aya, yani Azimio baba na ana maintain. Baba ame maintain kwamba aya yani hata mkituletea hata Biden ama Biden, kivyovyote vile utamuita. Sisi it's very simple. Yani wewe niambie sasa leo Azimio akisema watu wasiingie street, watu wataanzaje kumuona Raila? Watu watanzaje kumuona wajakoya matakarua kina Eugene so wataona kama watu fulani ambao hawajielewi so what are you fighting for kidogo kidogo hatujapata suluhisho kidogo kidogo mshatuambia sasa tusi, tusifanye anything tuambieni like watu watakuwa wanaonaje sasa watu wataona ni kama uh, uh, ha watu wanacheza na akili zetu unaelewa mzamaji wangu so kuna vitu vingine hapa ambavyo ah haitakuwa yani ni sidhani this time round it won't be that is kwa sababu wakati wa kuzungumza ilikuwa watu waliichukulia kama mzaha fulani hawakuchukulia serious akasumbua sumbua na nini ikaisha hivyo even when the intimidation of withdrawal of security as mio confirmed that the protest plan for Wednesday Thursday Friday this week are on as earlier announced the use of force has, uh, has been unnecessary and totally this uh, proportionate We have always appealed to our protesters to remain peaceful and we urge them to continue doing so as Mio's statement read in a part. Earlier reports of secret talks between Raila and Ruto emerged in the social media where it was alleged that Suna East MP Juanet uh, Muhammad and Professor Makao Mutua were among those representing the opposition. However, na Kenya leader Martha Karua uh, downplayed the reports. Bro, there is nothing like mazungumzo ambayo yanaendelea kati ya Raila 
na William Samoei. Mazungumzo ni simple. Unaona ambayo wanayazungumza kwenye media, kwenye vyombo vya habari, yani unaona vitu ambavyo Raila anazungumza sasa hivi. Ndio mazungumzo ambayo tunataka. Like hata wakikutana, Raila anatakiwa kuambia William Samoei kwamba nao sasa hivi tunavyozungumza bana bei ya unga unateremsha hauteremshi. Bei ya suya nini unateremsha hauteremshi. Na lela mtazamaji wangu. So yani tuna hivyo yani ndio maneno ambayo yanatakiwa kuzungumziwa hapa sasa hivi. Sio swala la oh wazungumza wanazungumza kitu gani? Baba anaongea na Ruto kitu gani bro? Wataongea wakae kimya huko afisi trend lao kuangaika. You understand? And that's the reason why baba ana, ni mjanja, baba ni mjanja. Ru, Raila kukubali kuongea na Ruto bro. Trust me, hata wananchi wenyewe wata, watachoka like ah bwana sisi tumechoka. Tofauti wa Raila na Jalango lazima ikuwe kwa sababu baba hizi akafanya alichokifanya jalango jalango kidogo kidogo wapi jeshi ya baba jeshi ya baba kidogo kidogo Ruto ndo president bro for the first time wewe ukisema jeshi la baba jeshi la baba ni nini ulikuwa unamaanisha kidogo kidogo usharuka upande huu mwingine watu ni nini ni nini hiyo ulikuwa unamaanisha inamaanisha wewe ni mnafik wewe ni mtu ambaye hauna msimamo wewe sio msema kweli unaongea unaruka unaongea unaruka kwa nini unaendelea msemaji wangu so hawa watu wakae Uh, wakijua kwamba mchezo waende wacheze huko ma Canada yao, ma US yao, ma, ma wapi huko, Germany na wapi huko. Wacheze huko. Sisi tunachokipigania ni kitu rahisi, tuteremshie tu gharama ya maisha. Tutoleeni tu hizo matax nyingi. Tu survive na kitu ambacho kipo. Msitake mengi, alafu hatuna sisi hatuwezi. Mnataka nyingi alafu mnataka kutoa kwetu sisi. Tunatoa wapi sisi? Unalala mtazamaji, yani vitu ambavyo ni very simple and kila kitu kitakaa vizuri sana. Nipo maoni yako hapo chini kwenye sehemu ya comments. Na kikubwa zaidi subscribe ili uendelee kupata taarifa nyingi na mpya kila wakati bye bye